Hey, you got a song stuck in your head right now? Yeah, I do. Let's talk about what earworms say about your health. If you have that hit song stuck in your head today, rest assured you're not alone. Apparently it happens to almost everyone. Usually it's a song you've heard repeatedly with a strong rhythm section and melody pops into your head and stays there sometimes all the time, just unwanted. Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joins us this morning to talk about that. Dr. Mike, how's it going? Uh, doing fine, Casey. Uh, I don't have any earworms in my head right now, uh, but I did bring a brain. Yeah. You know the brain bank, Abby Normal? Yeah, right. right. Well, wait, no, this is Abby Normal right here. This is normal. Yeah. So uh, basically, the auditory cortex right here, that's where all the action is. It's like our little MP3 player in the brain. And when you hear uh, songs, catchy songs, repetitive songs, uh, they tend to stick in there. And when you're relaxed, when you're not focused, that's when these little earworms, these songs kind of play in your head and they can go on and on and on. Very irritating, but not anything worrisome, not a, not a medical condition uh, uh, unless you're you know, having hallucinations and stuff like that. But uh, happens to almost all of us. Yeah, I'm glad we're talking about this because this is totally me. I'm a musician and I get a song stuck in my head and uh, it's, pr it's problematic for me. <laughs> it's, it's constant. Uh, I think there was a Silk Sonic song that came out last year that was a cover and it was just in my head when I woke up in the middle of the night. But then you've got people like my wife who she never hears music in her head. Uh, what's going on with that? She's got to-do lists in her head. Well, that's very interesting because earworms uh, and those sounds tend to be uh, more prevalent when your mind is wandering, when you're relaxed. So you're very relaxed. Maybe you're making your wife stressed. Maybe. I don't know, Casey, <laughs> but the, because she's not having earworms because she's focused and stressed. That's why I never have earworms because I'm always focused and stressed. The, but uh, not to worry. Uh, you have to pick a good song, hopefully. It's, a, it's always uh, a good know. song. Uh, yeah. I just, sometimes I want yeah. it out of there. It's just too much. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, so, so you said that it's, it's not a concern. It's not linked to any health conditions. No, no. The, the vast majority of people have earworms. It's that part of the brain where it processes sounds. And uh, it's something that happens. It's normal. Don't worry about it. Uh, if you have hallucinations, then you need to worry about that a little bit and get checked out. But bottom line is, forget it. Yeah. Well, just to pick wrap a this, good song. Pick a good song. You're right. Just to wrap us up, is there anything else we need yeah. to know about this? If, if the problem is worse in others like like me, uh, worse than other people, is there any way to stop it? Any sort of stress relieving or stress inducing techniques to get the song out of my head? Well, you focus. If you focus on something, it'll get out of your head. Focus on, you said you're a musician. Yeah. Focus on a new song that you're working on or, okay. or something. That's what I would recommend. And then you'll get that stuff out of your head. But it, it may come back, Casey. <laughs> it may it's come gonna back. It's going to come back, yeah. Uh, good advice. I was worried. You put my mind at ease. Dr. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me.